Hi you guys, welcome to my little shop. This is 445 Designs. I am going to be making over this guy today and I'm going to be sharing all the numbers with you. Hopefully by the time this comes up in the line of videos for you guys, I would have sold it. So I'm going to be covering all the numbers from beginning to end and my end profit. My dad always told me if you want to make your money, your biggest amount of profit, you always have to buy low. If you're buying low and you're spending low, then whatever you end up selling it for, your profit margin will be a little bigger. I got this guy from Kim. Hi Kim, in case she watches my videos. I don't know if she does or not. <laughs> so if you do, hello. Kim is a new friend. She got this dresser from family and she already had two and didn't need a third one and knows what I do for a living. So generously gave it to me. So this guy was free. So if you can get your dresses for free or low cost, then that is perfect. This is an MDF, my old friend. This is an MDF dresser. It's in really good shape. Guys, I have got rid of, I've tossed the hardware. I've tossed on the front of it. You saw in, um, in the very beginning of this video, it had a, uh, a little face plate, a decorative plate on the front. We've got rid of that. I have plugged up all the holes because I'm gonna be using new hardware, got rid of the hardware. I'm not gonna be putting a base on this, okay? Remember I said this is an MDF dresser. I'm probably in my area going to get, hopefully it would be nice, to get around two to 250 for this piece. I will not get my money back if I pour an oak base into this, right? An oak base costs probably around $30, $35 I think. Um, last time I added it up, I could be, oh, I could be wrong. Um, but it costs about that much for oak. Adding that to my expenses will then make my profit margin a lot smaller. I have sanded it, plugged up the holes, made a couple of small minor repairs that didn't need a lot. And now I'm going to be wiping it down with some water. It was clean already so I didn't need to worry about that. Now I just want to get the dust off it. I vacuumed it but now I want to wipe it down with some water. And then because I did blow through in parts of it to the MDF, I am going to have to prime it. I still haven't picked what paint color I'm using but over there, do you see that? I moved my paint to over there. This is my first makeover in my new and improved workroom <laughs> and I'm motivated, I'm excited. I want to pump this guy out in uh, a couple of days and see if I can get it sold and this video edited and let you know. So stick around to the end to find out what kind of profit I made on this piece. All right. Let's get into the video. All right, I have decided on Annie Sloan French Linen. I love this color. In this coat, I am going to add my Annie Sloan Matte Lacquer. I have mixed in equal parts, the French Linen and the Matte Lacquer. And now I'm just gonna make sure I give it a really, really good stir. Cause I don't want any separation in there. It is a water-based product, so I can mix it with chalk paint because chalk paint is a water-based product. If you're mixing an oil-based top coat with a water-based oil and water, right, doesn't mix. It won't work. It'll look like cottage cheese. <laughs> Trust me. I know. What, we're, what the top coat is going to do is to protect the chalk paint from our next layer.
seeing a lot of those faux wood finishes lately so I thought you know what I'm gonna give it a go so I took Annie Sloan's on Fleur and I added equal parts Valspar clear glaze to it with a smidge of graphite Annie Sloan graphite I did that off camera because I didn't feel like it was dark enough okay so I'm taking my mixture and I'm just laying it down on the top. This is the top of the dresser and I didn't put the white, the pure white on top of here. It's just the French linen. I'm putting down the glaze and I take my whisk brush and I drag it across. Now I've seen this done a couple of different ways. My friend Jen over on Copper Cactus DIY do something similar to this. She, in my humble opinion, is the queen of faux wood finishes. I'm going to link her bookcase video below and you can go check that out. She is amazing. But the most important thing I think is just have fun with it. It's a super forgiving finish and you really can't go wrong. Rightio, I am going to let that dry and then I'm going to come in with another layer. I now have Valspar Lime Wash and this is a glaze that has like white tones to it. Chip brush, barely dipping it in and then I'm just really wiping it off. I hardly want any on my brush at all. Just go through and dry brushing as they say. I have a cloth to smudge it back. I haven't dipped this in the, it's just what's on the brush and going over some of the bits that are maybe a bit too heavy. Okay, back to the lime wash. Going in with graphite on a chip brush and much like the whitewash, I am just, you know, being sparing about it in places. But darkening it up a little. All right, I am super happy with the top. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like wood, but it's faux and it's close enough. <laughs> and I'm now, this is mostly dry and I'm gonna distress a little. It's like a painting tool for when you scrape rollers, like you scrape the paint out of rollers. We have the white on the scrape tool, water. And a, and a rag just in case we need it. This is where the French linen layer comes into play. There's our French linen layer right there. But I'm loving this. Look at this. Can you see this texture? 
very cool. Using Annie Sloan's lacquer in matte, I have a foam applicator sponge. And doing it this way because the top is textured enough that I don't want brush strokes confusing the whole thing. <laughs> let that dry and I'll probably put two more coats on it lightly sand in between and I'm gonna wax the body any Sloan clear wax and my clear wax brush You can do distressing in so many different ways, but I like the scraping uh, method of distressing. It just gives it a different look to sanding. Wax also goes really nicely with the whole effect of the dresser. Never done faux wood before. I think I did okay. The queen of faux wood, in my humble opinion, is Jen over on Copper Cactus DIY. If you haven't checked out her bookcase video, you should do it. She is a master. A master. I will link her channel below. 
I'm not going to be selling this guys I know I started out with this video that I was going to sell it but a need has come up in the community that I'm a part of and a lady is moving into a home and she has nothing she's lost everything so I put my hand up that I could absolutely help out so I'll be giving her this dresser along with two end tables and a coffee table and I'll be doing videos for those as well so you can stay tuned for that um, but I'm gonna be giving those to her uh, sometimes helping out people trumps um, profit and I'll just trust that you know somehow <laughs> it's gonna be okay and um, some of my other pieces will sell you know people uh, more important than money so I wanted to help her out um, because I'm going to be donating it I can't give you a total but I can tell you that I ended up spending about 40 to 45 dollars in materials right the handles were free so for the primer the two coats of French linen and the coat and half of the pure white by Annie Sloan as well as the brown wax and the clear wax and the top coat that I used, I would not have spent more than $40, $45 on the conservative side. If I had sold it for $250, then my profit would have been about $205-ish. So that's not too bad. It took me, um, with dry times and all that sort of thing, it took me two days to make it over. So feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification and you will get notified on all the videos that come out when you do that. So I would love to have you along on the journey. Next week's piece. Do you see that? It's a good one. It's Frank. Do you guys remember Frank? Well, you gotta stick around for how Frank looks. Frank looks nothing like he started. And I really, really love it. So I hope to see you guys on that video. Bye. Denise, thank you again for sending me this picture. You guys, she sent me a picture of a piece she did uh, that is just like the red piece that I did. This was so cool and it made my day. Thanks, Denise.